a mini project. So this is probably the last project of the league. Uh, well, maybe. I'm not sure yet. So this one's going to be the... If I can find where I put them. The 10 cemetery maps, which we talked about doing since we did the, the quad 5 maps. So this is the cemetery one. This is the exact same build that we just did the uh, canyon one with. So as we're doing this one next right after, because I personally want to see is the um, brother stash really the one of eight eight maps? We should get one brother stash, maybe two if we're lucky, based on what I've heard. And we did change up the scares a little bit. So it's still the legion, it's still the gilded breach, and it's still the polished ambush. Gilded probably be better, but I want to keep it the same to see personally. And instead of doing gilded uh, harbinger now. Since this map has no reason to Harbinger, we're going to do the Gilded uh, Divination instead. Just try to push the Brother Stash better uh, rates again. At. So pretty much the breakdown, like if I were to put them, oh, bunk tab, this way. So it's about 18, almost 19x to do the, to this one. This is also a little bit more because on this one, I'm using the three socket resonator so I don't get elemental reflect. Since now we're playing almost a full, besides a little bit of fizz, but I gotta see if that how that works. But corroded fossils are hundred; it's 140 chaos. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. But you also do lose the uh, expensive uh, scarab, so it's hard to say really. I have to go back to the other one and, and plug in the corroded with the three sock resonator to really see difference between starting price. But it should be about the same, close enough. But also this one being a lower tier map means it be less um, simulacrum splinters overall so it, and less that good map. So I think we're going to make less on this one just in general, what I think. But I'm saying that I'm going to put all the, everything in here and see what we calculate. Mostly just to see overall running 10 of these. Um, how much currency can we actually get out of this? Because I personally want to know for myself to see which one between... The um, cemetery and the canyon, which one I want to farm for rest of the rest of the league, the snow. It's just so I have an idea more for me myself. So we'll do the first one together. Probably should done like this actually. Would be a smart way of doing it. Okay. So let's see. It's been a while since I've done cemetery. Beyond, uh, does not consume. Yes, this is all good to go. Oh, right, and for this one, uh, I put Beyond also on here, so we should have the Beyond mods. And I don't need tier four anymore, C, so I just put it on to least in essence, maybe. But yeah, we don't know. So I think this one be interesting to see because we have a lot of Beyond this map. And also, again, also the uh, watchstones on this one, if we ever load, maybe. This match a lot smaller too. It should be a very quick video, hopefully. Unless we sit in here forever. Here it's starting. There you go, sorry. Uh, we're using all the more magic monsters, pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm using. I pretty much all 4% because 5% apparently don't exist right now. Unless you want to pay a crazy amount of money. So I just went with this, I pretty much have a 4, 8, 12. It's a 17% more monster, rare monsters, just for like the nemesis, dropping currency, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty much all it's for. And it's pretty much the same thing, beyond nemesis, uh, Legion and Heart and Breach. Exact same setup. So let's see how this does. Also being one tier less, this should be pretty easy. Okay, yeah, it's pretty easy. And Cassia too. Yeah, things are definitely dying. I don't think we're, we're not going to get to the 13 like we did on the other map we should. I don't think so. Also, we do have one less uh, Breach too in this one.
We'll see. So I never want to do all League anyways, run these maps, so... It's nice that I finally actually do them, to see. And it's all, it should give everyone an idea, too, if you want to run these yourself, um, between which one's better. Symmetry just has the... Or, uh, Kane does like to... Kick you out of the computer, though. Yeah, it does get annoying after a while. Beyond this takes forever to kill. I honestly don't even know where the uh gonna pop set. Yeah, I will say definitely run Scarab if you ever want to do these yourself. Just because it's nice because Scarabs pay for themselves pretty much if you're doing these. So it does help run the uh, keep the gilded ones keep going after a while. That one's already done. Definitely a lot easier than the other one was. Not sure if that was one swing or two swings. I don't know where the swing was at actually, to be honest with you. Swing could be a tabby also. I learned that the hard way last time. You know, that's an exalt orb. Maps. Yeah, ideally with this map, all you're trying to do really is just push out as many um, monsters as possible just for the Brother Stash. Because that's the only thing we're looking for. Since we don't have the um, Ancient Shards and Chaos Shards and all that kind of stuff to help get the extra currency. Oh, that was close. They're both really bad. I'm not sure what the worst of the two is. Or the better of the two. Maybe this way? It's weird that everything dies so fast and so used to the, the higher tier stuff. Oh, it's an exalted arm. Oh, I thought he hit the wrong button. It's good to exalt this map. I'm not sure that's normal or not. But yeah, the breaches are just in bad locations in this map. There's one thing I do notice really quick though, is that because of the wall shape in this map, it hurts the other breaches pretty bad. This is a small map too. 
We're gonna skip the boss though on this one. Mainly due to I don't wanna die. Like I think I can kill the boss and get the extra what is it, like 15 chaos per map. But I don't wanna gamble the boss. Cause it's super easy to die. It's not worth gambling either. I know what's happening. Got the ten at least. Three exalts in one map. Huh. That's weird. I've never seen that before. So why don't that almost screw up my numbers at the end? it really boring if it is oh, I miss a legion at least have we not seen a single ritual I, I did ritual yeah I guess no we did legion never mind It's not bad. Uh, I guess we can just hit this now. Rituals. I was already done. X off, I think. Three percent we die. Of course, 
3x. Not sure what killed him. We got one shot too. Weird. One next. We got one shot by a uh something. Um. That should go a little longer. I thought it would actually the video. I think we're at the end actually. Do not know where the last ritual's at. Oh no, the last ritual's probably in the boss. I forgot it's one bad thing about this map. Is that you're not guaranteed a full ritual. Okay. So I'm gonna assume that's that map pretty much. So I'm gonna go through a loot and we're gonna pretty much run all the uh the other nine loot also. And we'll see really at the end how much currency because it roughly looks like it's about between eleven and twelve. And the other one was be was around was thirteen, so it's one last drop of Scarab, so it should be interesting to see. So, yeah, 3x is weird. So, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you like to see, subscribe down below. Come follow me on Twitch. Uh, next video after this one will be the results. After that one, it should be the build guide. Or we'll do, we'll do something else in the build guide after. But if anyone has ideas for what to do, any other projects, gambles, let me know. Uh, just remind, no reminder, April 1st, my last POE stream. So, if anyone... Wants to donate anything for that? Let me know. Uh, pretty much, I'm planning on doing a bunch of uh, double or nothing and harvest. If we get lucky, we can find a harvest on that day. I just want to get a bunch of random, like house of mirrors, ancient ores, maybe whatever we can find that day and have fun with, based on currency wise. So I hope you liked the video. I hope to see you on the next one.